Never let T Boss be booking me with no cars. Have you found anything? Please, I've got to know what really happened to Megan. I've investigated all of Detective Chase's leads. You were right. Something was off with Megan's case. So, what did you find? There were only three people who got out of the labs alive. Me and two others. One died in the hospital a few days later. The second one, a lab tech, was ready to give a detailed description of what he saw. Funny thing is, by the time the investigators got to him, he couldn't remember a thing. You sound like you don't believe that. I don't. Not from the reports I've read. I think someone got to him first. An officer assigned to the case was asked to get rid of a major piece of evidence. Footage from one of our intellicams showed fuzzy images of the attackers bringing something inside the labs. What? What were they bringing in? I don't know. But for someone higher up to want that evidence gone, it must have been important. I got my hand on a test report that confirms what was bothering Chase. The attackers used excessive measures to make bodies and equipment unidentifiable. Oh my god, Megan. What do you make of this, Adam? I don't know exactly. I guess the idea was to leave no traces, no DNA evidence that would link back to them. But it just seems a bit too convenient. Someone in the government, a man named Manderley, ordered that a specially appointed medical examiner perform the autopsy. He bypassed the local ME. Simply put, that's not a good sign. It sure doesn't sound good. So what you're telling me is we couldn't find anything conclusive? No, I'm sorry. But one thing's for sure. Somebody's been hard at work covering up and destroying evidence related to this case. Somebody with power, who wanted to erase anything that might have made the investigation linger. 
I'm sorry, Cassandra. I wish I had more tangible answers to give you. It's all right, Adam. I'm sure you did all you could. At least now I know my instincts were right. And, um, do you... Do you know exactly how Megan died? Her neck was snapped and her body was burned beyond recognition with a high-tech compound. Oh, God! How can someone do something so awful to another person? I miss her. So much. So do I. But there's not much we can do about that. Oh, Adam. There's a lot more you can do. I'm sure of it. It's strange. I thought knowing what really happened would make me feel better. But nothing will ever justify this. My daughter is gone, and I'll never get her back. I wish. I wish I could be sure she gets justice. Trust me, she will. Where are you, Jensen? I haven't gone all night. Hello, Pritchard. I'm almost in my apartment now. Well, when you do get in there, connect the neural hub to your computer. I've created a secure tunnel, and I'll take over remotely. You can access my personal computer. Who do you think configured Welcome your security home, protocols? Jensen. Access... Richard, the hub's connected. I know. Now be quiet and let me concentrate. I need his name, Pritchard, not his entire genetic history. That's not his DNA. It's the data he was trying to steal from us before he... Must... My God, Jensen. Your suicide hacker didn't kill himself. You obviously didn't see his brain spidered all over the floor. No, no, you don't understand. The wet drive modification in this chip, it allows someone to hack through you. It turns you, quite literally, into a human proxy. So he wasn't working alone. Someone off-site was doing the actual hacking. Exactly. And whoever it was tried to hide his location by using multiple satellites. But I may have just traced him to here. An abandoned factory complex in Highland Park. Get me the address, Pritchard. Because if we're lucky, whoever pulled our terrorist strings might still be there. Adam, it's David. Let me guess. You're sending me to Highland Park. Not just yet. Frank's figured out why the network's been compromised. There's a persistent transmission coming from Derelict Row. Street gang territory? Well, our dead friend was posing as an Antioch. Who better to hide with than the D-Row ballers? Right. I'm on my way.
Jensen. How can I help you, Francis? You know why I'm contacting you. The transmission is making a mockery of your security efforts? It's keeping a back door open into our network. None of us are secure unless you find the antenna that's sending it and shut it down. For you, anything. ever come to pass, one cannot help but wonder if millionaire Hugh Darrow, the man whose innovation
telling you something big is going on in Highland Park. <laughs> Boss, is that back door still open? No, good job. Frank just sent me the all clear. Now it's time to find the bastards who attacked us. Farina, are you standing by? On the line, boss. Jensen, you reading me? Loud and clear. Stay close to the antenna. Pritchard sent me the coordinates for it. I'm coming to pick you up. Jensen, your limo has arrived. You ready to leave? Yeah, let's go. Great. Detroit Local. This is Sarah Industries Bravo Echo Echo 008. Continuing on. 